Right now, the state legislature is at the Capitol in a special session working on legislation in response to COVID-19. Added to their agenda recently is disaster relief for the pair of hurricanes that hit southwest Louisiana. Here's Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation lobbyist Joe Mapes to give us an update from the state Capitol. One of the things that has impressed me the most in all of this, Ronnie Johns is a state senator. He's also from the southwest area, okay? So he's at the helm of this recovery effort in southwest Louisiana. He's also chairman of the Senate Commerce Committee. He testified before the House Commerce Committee this morning on several pieces of legislation that he needed to pass. They weren't related to what we're discussing here, but when he was done with that testimony, he said, I want to take a personal minute to thank each one of you members on this Commerce Committee for sending money to Southwest Louisiana, opening up your offices, uh, you, uh, uh, offering your staff as, as a resource, you know, uh, coming down in person and helping cleaning, clean up. I mean, to see the legislators participating at that level is so cool because it shows you, you know, how much they truly do care. So that's one thing. Now, I'll talk further with Ronnie Johns. He said that the United Way, specifically, the director, Ms. Denise Durrell, has done a great job and continues to do so in helping people with the recovery. He said anybody uh, that's reached out to them, they've helped. Okay, so that's a big deal. Uh, we've got pieces of legislation in there, Carl, that actually do specifically help deal with this. There's one that the speaker has that would allow a two-day sales tax holiday. Uh, it's not necessarily in relation to the hurricane relief. You don't have to prove that you were damaged by the hurricane, but the only requirement is whatever you buy is under $2,500 total for that sales tax weekend. Representative Romero has got a piece of legislation, a concurrent resolution that memorializes Congress and the Louisiana congressional delegation to fully fund the livestock indemnity program. So that's a, a good piece of legislation. Uh, our chairman of the House Agricultural Committee, Jack McFarland, has got a bill that would take a portion of the severance tax that's coming in now for timber and rededicate it to the wildfire fund at the Department of Ag, which is a big deal because we don't have enough equipment, we don't have enough personnel right now in that division. So Carl, what we've got here at the Capitol, fortunately, is a cohesive team of legislators and their staff that's helping put together uh, relief in Southwest Louisiana. They're reaching out, they're responding, and I gotta tell you, I'm very impressed, we all are very impressed with how this legislature is handling this, this response to these hurricanes. On behalf of Louisiana Farm Bureau members and Louisiana residents, especially those that are still recovering from Laura and Delta, we want to say thank you to the legislators who are passing laws to help get the state back on its feet and residents back in their homes.